The online Star Wars encyclopedia Wikipedia has found itself embroiled in a, another controversy. It is no surprise given that the website is run by a bunch of woke activists that push the gay and transgender agenda. They even pushed this idea that Luke Skywalker is gay. And uh, they include pronouns on all of their character entries now, obviously confirming that they are indeed trying to push the transgender agenda. Well, their latest controversy is that they have changed the birth date for Ki Adi Moody or the birth year for Ki Adi Moody. And they've also tacitly condemned acolyte showrunner Leslie Headland. Before we get to this, I'd like to ask you, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos here at the Trent Report. I wrote this up over at thatparkplace.com. And if you recall, Leslie Headland told this to the New York Times ahead of the release of the premiere of The Acolyte. She said, as a fan myself, I know how frustrating some Star Wars storytelling in the past has been. I felt it myself. She then added in a follow-up text message. She said, I stand by my empathy for Star Wars fans, but I want to be clear, anyone who engages in bigotry, racism, or hate speech, I don't consider a fan. So all of those are just buzzwords to condemn people who are opposed to the gay and transgender agenda, as well as the DEI agenda, and all basically woke ideologies that Lucasfilm, the Walt Disney Company, and Star Wars now try and push uh, in every single piece of content that they make. The entire franchise now is just a vehicle for this type of propaganda. And the Acolyte is just the latest and most egregious example of that. And so what I found, this was hilarious because Wikipedia actually posted this. They actually condemned Leslie Headland because remember, Leslie Headland says that <laughs> she doesn't consider you a fan if you are opposed to uh, woke ideology. Well, Wikipedia posted this, Star Wars is for everyone. You may not like everything that gets produced, but that does not give you the right to tell others they cannot enjoy it. Not every piece of media release will resonate with every fan, and that's okay, and enjoy what you enjoy. So this idea is absolutely bunk, too. There are clear things that are better than others. That was the whole point of the Academy Awards. There is objective value in art. Things are definitely better than others. Not everything is this subjective, oh, I thought this was great. No, uh, you, you might believe that you thought it was great, but that does not mean it is indeed great. Uh, so that that's a, just a big giant lie uh, that they've tried to gaslight us on for a number of years now. Uh, certain movies, certain television shows are definitely better than others. Uh, but nevertheless, this is what they added in a follow up uh, post here. They says, if you like Star Wars, you are a Star Wars fan. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. So if you like Star Wars, you are a Star Wars fan. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise, including including the acolyte showrunner Leslie Headland, who's trying to tell you that you aren't a Star Wars fan if you oppose woke ideology. You just love when these people like own own their own own their uh, people that they're trying to defend because they're clearly trying to defend the acolyte here with this BS gaslighting message and then they end up actually condemning Leslie Headland. You literally can't make this stuff up. It's absolutely hilarious and just so shows how, contradictory, hypocritical, and just outright wrong uh, a lot of their stuff is because they can't keep their uh, thoughts straight. They can't keep their logic uh, in the correct order. None of it really makes any sense. As I said, it's all contradictory. And they're also obviously um, embroiled in this changing of the birth year of Ki Adi Mundi, uh, specifically the canon page for the Jedi Master. Uh, when I wrote this article, the current entry did not list a birth date or birth year for Ki Adi Mundi, but rather details he took part in a meeting with other Jedi in the year 132 BBY, the battle before Yavin. Uh, pre previous entries and the current Legends entry do or did list Mundi's birth year as 93 battle before Yavin, given it was established in Star Wars Episode One Insider's Guide that the now Legends Dark Horse comic series Star Wars Republic Prelude to Rebellion detailed that Ki Adi Mundi was 60 years old just before the events of The Phantom Menace given the fact that he was six years old, just ahead of the events of the Phantom Menace, which took place in 33 BBY, Moody must have been born around 93 BBY. Thus, he would not have been born at the time of 132 BBY when the Acolyte takes place. We also have this Tops card uh, noting that he was actually born in 92 BBY. A number of people have been trying to claim that none of this stuff is uh, canon. I would argue that it is. 
uh, that this stuff is canon. It is clearly created uh, around the Phantom Menace. It's not actually uh, kind of like a Dark Horse comics book, comics book like the like we were talking about here, Star Wars Republic, Preludes for Rebellion. This tops card was literally created for uh, the movies. You can see there clearly the character from the movie showing you how old he was, his height, his uh, uh, the like some stats and, and things like that that he's got as well. So I would argue that uh, stuff like this is actually uh, canon because it is literally uh, adjacent to the films. And my guess is it was probably um, created uh, with George's oversight and guidance regarding these characters. So not only uh, were the editors attempting to change the birth birthday and birth year for Kiati Mundi, but at least one editor who was attempting to point out the Acolyte's massive mishap was blocked from editing the website. That editor was Camo Live. He made four edits regarding Kiati Moody. And an explanation for why he was blocked was given. It says here, this user is currently blocked. The latest block log entry is provided below for reference. It says that Spooky Willow blocked Camo Live with an expiration time of one week because he added unverified information to articles, basically changing the birth year for Ki-Adi Mundi, when we actually do have verified information here, 92 BBY. And then obviously, if you do some backlogging here, which is literally on their Legends page for Ki-Adi Mundi, he was born in the year or around the year 93 BBY. So uh, there's clear information and it's obviously was available on their Legends site. So the blocking seems to be disingenuous. So uh, they are clearly, clearly uh, embroiled themselves in a massive controversy. I think they've kind of just exposed themselves as unreliable. I will admit I do uh, use the site sometimes, but it's mainly just to check the sources to see if what they're actually saying is true and then going to whatever they have listed as that source and trying to double check what they're actually saying. Many times you find out that what they actually have in their articles is far from what actually happens uh, in the source material. Uh, so I think this is just kind of further eroding their own reputation, uh, which I think is kind of, was kind of, in my opinion, was already eroded in the first place when they became woke activists and were uh, kind of just running uh, the water for Lucasfilm and the Walt Disney Company and their woke agenda that they are clearly have been trying to push since they purchased Star Wars from George Lucas. But let me know what you guys make of Wikipedia, what it's been doing, and how it uh, basically <laughs> condemned Leslie Headland and then ruined its own reputation by uh, trying to carry the water for the Acolyte, which uh, introduced a character who had not even been born yet. Let me know what you guys make of this. Let me know in the comments below. Remember to always be charitable, especially to each other, but to always speak the truth.